Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Salesforce with Megan. Here we do talk about topics relating to your professional and lifestyle development. So for today, we're gonna to be talking about a link tree. And what is that you may be asking? It's an easy way to be able to showcase all the social media platforms that you are currently on. And then outside of social media, it's a way to be able to showcase your portfolios or your projects. And this particular video will really touch and focus on those in the tech industry. The first is going to be through your mobile device or the second, which is my favorite. And I heard about this from the CEO of Gaggle when we did our resumes video, which you can check right up here. And that is going to be through a business card. And now that in-person events are back and they're starting, and as you know, networking is super important and you want to stand out when you are just handing off your resume, it'd be great to be able to add something else to that mix. So again, if you do want to find out more about how you can get that QR specifically on a business card, don't forget to check out the video that I did with CEO's gaggle down below in the description. So for today, we're going to be giving a quick tutorial on how to create your link tree and then how it would look both on the desktop and mobile device. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are on my link tree page. This is going to be my account. I'm going to be demoing from here just quickly how to add a link, how to be able to remove a link, and also how it would look on the front end for a user. So as you can see right here, this is the iPhone and it reflects into how it would showcase for somebody that was checking out your link tree. You can see all of my social media accounts. And if somebody was to click on any of these links, because the URL is already entered on the left side, they'll be automatically directed to, let's say my LinkedIn account. So again, super easy and convenient for somebody if you were able to give them that, that URL or to actually have them scan that QR code. If I wanted to remove anything at any time, I can just click that toggle and boom, it's gone. So just keep in mind that you can remove, add, or just leave pending like I have all the way on the bottom. I'm not quite ready to put out my portfolio yet, but that was just a mental reminder to get that up. And I would like to be able to just showcase how you can design the appearance because you can make it the way you want it to look. All right. So really cool thing when it comes to actually showcasing a few things on the top of your LinkedIn tree, you can have a profile picture. You can also have your profile title. It can be your name, or perhaps you go by something else. You can put that in there. And then if you wanted a bio, that's completely optional for right now. I do have Salesforce consultant, which is reflected on the right. You also have different themes, which you can play with. So let's say we wanted to put Miami like pink and orange or I wanted blue, I could do that. Now let's say I don't want a background and I just want the links to be highlighted. I'm going to click that. And now you can see that you can play around with some of these options that you do have here. So if you do see yourself using Linktree over time, I definitely think it's worth looking into the upgraded version. It's around five to $9 a month. When you do upgrade, you do get a whole bunch of cool things that come with it, including different types of templates. Uh, and then you also do get access to analytics. And in terms of this, we're going to do a quick dive into this. If you decide to upgrade the one free feature that you do have is that you can see how many times so somebody has had a unique view on it, total clicks, and then specifically the date. So I thought this was really cool feature to have, especially because it's the free non-paid version. Do you have an option to upgrade along with those cool things that we showcased earlier? You do have the ability to have a commerce section, which means if you're selling a course, if you're selling an ebook, for example, you would be able to track the selling rates through here, what specific dates people were tracking from. And then moving down, you would have the locations which people are tuning in from. What platform are they looking at? Are they looking more at your portfolio? What's being touched? What's being not? So you can kind of edit as you go over time. You can also see what device are people looking at? Are they coming in and looking from the mobile device? Are they coming in through the a desktop version? So then if you scroll down, you have some other options as well. So really cool features that do come along with the paid version. I absolutely love Linktree. I have already decided to use it for my first in-person live event. So now moving forward, if I do meet somebody, I'm gonna be showcasing the QR code to them from my mobile device and gonna be tracking the analytics from moving forward. So let's go ahead and showcase how it will look on the desktop version. So we're gonna do something cool here. I have my LinkedIn pulled up, which already has my Linktree link 
link, link, link. But, um, <laughs> but I'm going to show you how it would actually look in the desktop version. So let's navigate over to LinkedIn and do that really quick. All right, so I'm here on my LinkedIn page. As I mentioned earlier, I already had the link entered and all I did was copy paste right here. This is what the user would need to do, copy. And then once they did, they would be navigated to this site right here. And then moving forward, they can find out a little bit more about you. I love this because sometimes resumes, if you're in a networking event, have a good amount of information from you. But as you know, we need to keep it condensed. So having the ability to be able to showcase a little bit more of who you are, especially if you are in the tech industry, this really does help have somebody know you not only better, but be able to showcase the projects and the work that you've done. And I would like to show you if I was to click on one of these links, what would happen? So here we are, you've been navigated by clicking on that link to my professional blog. And it's as easy as that. If you are interested in finding out more about Linktree, if you had additional questions, just go ahead and put it below. I would love to be able to hear if you started using Linktree, what your thoughts on it are. Have you used it at a networking event? Do you have any tips? We'd love to hear it all. Just drop it in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you do like this type of content, go ahead and give me the thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.